Coach Hunter here, and did you know that after the age of 30, every single decade, you could lose up to three to 8% of your muscle mass and strength. And once you get past the age of 60, that rate can even increase. So what I'm here to do today is to help guide you through three strength exercises that you can do at home that requires zero equipment so that you can continue to do the things that you love, whether that be travel, whether that be play with your grandkids pain-free, and ultimately just enjoy your retirement. We're not just talking here about extending your life. We're also looking at improving the quality of your life and maintaining it. So without further ado, let's hop into three exercises that are gonna strengthen your legs, your core, and your upper body. And also, I'm gonna make sure that these are extremely joint friendly and low impact. So here we go. All right, so we're gonna go into the first exercise that you can do at home it is a box squat. And what we're gonna do this for is to strengthen those legs, help you get out of the chair, get off your bed, get off the toilet, whatever it is. So the box is gonna make it easy on your knees as well. We're gonna have our feet about shoulder width apart. Okay, from here, we're gonna simply sit back like we're sitting into a chair and you can relax for a moment. Now, if you see here in the bottom position, notice how my knees aren't going too far over my toes. They're staying over my ankles. And then once I'm here, I'm going to stand right up, pushing through the centers of my feet. Now, if you do wanna make this a little bit harder, you certainly can by grabbing a weight. Anything you have access to could be a rock, could be a backpack, or a dumbbell or a kettlebell that you have at home. So you go ahead, and we're gonna do 10 to 15 repetitions of this exercise. For our second exercise, we're going to continue to work on that lower body, but focus on a little bit more balance. So you may wanna come up to the wall for this. What we'll do uh, is use the hand for balance on the wall. We're gonna come right down into a 90 degree angle, or as close as you can. Notice how my knees stacked over my ankle, and you wanna stand nice and tall, and balance right here and hold this for 20 to 30 seconds. Okay, if you start to lose balance, don't be afraid to use that wall. And if you go too low and it's painful, then just go a little bit higher. So, we'll go just like that. Once you get one side, we'll have you swing over to the other side, do it for 20 to 30 seconds, and then repeat. Moving on to the third exercise, we've got a high plank. Now, what the high plank is gonna do is build stability and strengthen your shoulders while also engaging your core. So we can use the bench here or we can go down to the floor and make it a little bit harder. Hands are stacked underneath the shoulders if this bothers the wrist, make a fist. And then you're holding this position. You wanna think about squeezing your butt cheeks, driving your ribs to your belt buckle, and now I'm breathing in through my nose, exhaling throughout my mouth. And I'm gonna repeat this for about 20 to 30 seconds. Again, if you want to make it harder, come right down to the floor. Notice how my back is nice and straight. I'm squeezing my glutes. And after you do that exercise, you can go back through that circuit. So we will do a total of three rounds of that. As you get stronger, you can add a little bit of weight. You can add another round, whatever works for you. If you have any questions about any of these exercises, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button below. It helps me a ton. And of course, if you wanna see more videos just like this, click that subscribe button. I've got more workouts just like this. So if you wanna gain access to that, the video right here is gonna send you there, or you can try this workout right here. So we'll see you next time. Small steps, big results.